Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's been a minute since I posted my last video. So tonight I am making my husband's famous meatloaf. If you want to see how I created this dish, please continue to watch. So here are the ingredients that you will need. Red peppers, green peppers, white sweet onion, Lowry season salt, black pepper, basil leaf, parsley flakes, garlic powder, onion powder, man with original sloppy joe. I actually used two eggs and my husband's secret ingredient, liquid smoke. And of course you can't have meatloaf without ground beef. So now the first step is we're going to heat up a pan with some oil. I chose to use canola oil for this recipe. You can choose whatever oil you like. We're going to add our peppers and onions and saute these up a bit. Get them nice and translucent before adding them to our beef. So now it's time to season our meat with that delicious combination of flavor. And I guarantee you will love this blend of flavor on this ground beef for this meatloaf. Now, initially I had one egg to add to this ground beef, but I ended up adding two because I felt like it was too much ground beef and one egg was not going to cut it. Now it's time to add those peppers and onions that we sauteed up. We're going to add this to this delicious ground beef and we're going to give this a good mix. So after mixing all the ingredients, I formed this ground beef into a beautiful patty. I must say, adding that extra egg really helped shape this patty into its beautiful form. I can't wait to see the turnout. So now it's time to add that Manwich Original Sloppy Joe on top of the ground beef. Now some people use ketchup on their meatloaf, but my hubby's recipe only calls for this Manwich Original Sloppy Joe, and I trust his instincts, and I got a feeling that this is gonna come out tasting amazing. So now we're going to preheat our oven to 375 degrees and cook this meatloaf for about one hour. So after about an hour of cooking, I'm going to take the remainder of the Manwich Sloppy Joe mixture and pour the rest all over this meatloaf and put it back in the oven to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. We are all done. Hubby's famous meatloaf is fresh out of the oven and ready to be served. It smells amazing in this kitchen. So I carefully removed the meatloaf into a different baking pan so it wouldn't be sitting in so much excess oil. And cutting into this meatloaf, can you see that steam coming from this meatloaf? It is so moist and tender. It was a little hot, so I had to be careful not to burn my fingers. But when I tell you this meatloaf came out so delicious, you will not be disappointed if you try this recipe. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and share my video with anyone you may know. Thanks, guys.